I want to start with the relationship between the pain we're experiencing at the pump and Vladimir Putin's long-term strategy. He clearly has used energy as a geopolitical weapon for a long time. Tell us how Biden might be playing right into Putin's hand with this right. $5 gas. Yeah, it's like one of those Westerns where there are no good guys. Remember the, the good, bad, the ugly, everybody yeah. is a bad guy. So let, we should never forget Biden's complicity here. So if you look at the six quarters running up to the war in Ukraine, uh, the war against Ukraine, global demand was outstripping supply every quarter. That meant that Biden knew his entire presidency that there was not enough oil and gas on the global market. He knew that for a fact. And with inflation going up, he, he, he would have had to have known that if anything happened in Europe or the Middle East, that, that there was going to be a, an energy crisis. So to say that, oh, my God, who could have known? And this isn't my fault. That's just just fatuous. He had two years to think about and reverse stupid policies like Keystone XL and, and his war on, on, on gas and oil. And he didn't do it. So there's a huge responsibility there. But the, on the other side, Putin has really, I think, since 2014, really had his sights set on reabsorbing the post-Soviet states, dictatorial control over Central Europe pushing the United States into the sea, dissolving NATO. And of course, that's exactly what the Chinese wanted. I mean, in many ways, Russia is China's stalking horse. And he knew he had a weapon in hand to do that in energy, because ironically, it was really in the, in the 1990s that because of all the troubles in the Middle East, that people started turning to Russia as a, to reduce the risk, right? That they, they could just boil oil from oil from Russia and gas from Russia. They didn't have to worry about the problems in the Middle East. Right. But all we were doing is we were transferring that risk to Russia. And Putin knew he had that weapon in his hand. He's been playing it for years. Um, and and of course, he's he was threatening, cajoling and using it now. And as long as he has that weapon in his hands, the energy blackmail, energy corruption, energy bribery, he he can threaten and disorganize Western Europe. So. The one thing we know for sure is regardless of how the Ukraine crisis come, come, turns out, we are not safe until we are not dependent on our enemies for oil and gas. So that means we ha all have to get off Russian oil and gas. And that's not going to happen without the United States being come, become a, an energy dominant in the world and energy independent. And if that doesn't happen, then all uh, of Biden's other mistakes and missteps and ills have paled because he's failed and the most basic thing that he needs to do to kind of put America back at the head of the pack. 